What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm back again with another pickup video from an Aussie comic book related. Um sorry about the um uh, again with a mixture of comic books from uh one book shop in May, the kind shop, loads from Aussie Forbidden Planet. Um, and some special books from Curse of Comics. Um, obviously, if you follow the comic comics family, you already know a little bit about this. Um, or if you follow Curse of Comics on Instagram or Facebook, you might have sort of seen it. They recently picked up in the last few weeks a big collection of bronze and silver type books. Um, I think the day he got them in, he messaged me that night out of the books. Do you need these books? And I, I did, so I got them. One of the books, he had, he had a few nice books. Like one of them was like, an amazing spider man 300, and a few nice hulks. One of the books is at the moment a pretty hot book. Um, and I beat a few people to the punch on this, and I think I go with what Paul at Curse have said. I also I beat. Gerard at Comics on Me to this book, so sorry mate, um, <laughs> beat you to the punch on this one. Um, and also, a few other books I want to show you from Forbidden Planet, two of them are newly covered, so sort of be aware, I'll obviously give you a warning when I get to them, but yeah. First one I want to show you is from the, one, the only book I got from Comic Books of the MA, and that is uh, Batman 472. I'm um, his first idiot and I think the first person of this woman, I forget her name, but it was it was cheap. Um don't be stuck for all from the planet, so Star Trek nineteen. Um Spider Woman Spider Woman number six. Number um, this is the last issue of the series that is Hack and Slash back to the film. I do draw the Hack and Slash series. Um, I know some people do, some people don't. I personally enjoy it. Um, Poison Ivy 21, the David Nakamura variant. You think right now I'm a better way of fucking doing these videos. Um, this is Avengers number, I do not remember, I picked up because it's pretty much dark with cover. The issue 7 of the current section of Shield Grand. This uh, this book I have to pick up because I did have a camera already pre-ordered. Well, that's this one I had to pick it up, and it's the Women's History Month version of Harley Quinn number thirty-eight. But it's actually sort of the look is inspired by cosplay of Rachel Holland. Obviously, that's a name you pretty much hear Richard on this channel, so I had to get it. Uh, Power Girl number seven. I'm enjoying the series. Um, I know a lot of people like Paradox and don't, and I'll tell your opinions if you are, if you're currently reading it. Uh, next week's book, I'll say book, but different covers. If you throw your A and B cover or quick stop number three. Oh. But yeah, one, one more issue that we, that's been away. Um, basically, yeah. Last few books from last three books from, no last normal book from normal size comics from Big Brain Planet. Then there were these little big old ones. Um Rampola six six eight, naturally like a Holland cover. Um Red Sun Empire of the Damned issue 
one new series. Um, anyway, Coldplay cover, but not as you're holding up Dex Bird's name. I am following her on, at least on social media, but if you want to read Sonya. Uh, last, so the three uh, normal, like non books from um, Printhead are my Penthouse comics. Um, so, all you want to add to this, if I know it, with the poster, which I'm so sure that actually got me in wanted, wanted me to start collecting penthouse. Um that's the Luna Vitro one for issue two. She announced this before the series came out. Um which is what made me start picking these up. So um I mean sort of two sort of I'll press through this. So in the book that we do um photo shoots at the back but oh, this is the cover which so the photo shoot more to it in there and so but the nudie cover is that one? Could not help myself. Some power up like that. So there, the penthouse comics. Just that. So the books I picked up from Cursed Earth. Uh, I'll do the ones that he held me first. Once I held, he sort of messed me up first. He initiated. Five issues from the series, but I had to one of the issues, and that is from the original Sensational She Hulk, um, which uh, once you had on issue one, issue two, uh, issue five, and issue six. So those books he actually initially messaged me about, <clears throat> but I picked. I went in there today to pick up a book, and as you picked up, well, pick, there are books on hold to me, which apparently fewer people wanted, um, including apparently Gerald from the Tonic family. I did Sorry, mate, but you also showed me a book he had, which I'm a fan of. I'm a fan of the, you should know me, you know the famous series. Um, and it's from, I forgot what volume, it's the first volume, that's one of the older red Sonya's. Frame, just nice little book down. But the key is this is probably one of my uh, bigger keys now in my collection, which I've got. I thought I'd do this video now, I'll dive it on this Tuesday, before I go into New Dawn, try on what I do want it rated. Um, I do need to turn New Dawn because I'm not slightly got back. So, and that, again, at the moment, very hot to put at the moment with the rumours for Deadpool 3. As I hear what the book is, and then the Uncanny X Men 130, the first appearance of Dazzler. Um, it's quite strange because I recently had the facsimile on my pre orders before I cancelled it. Part of me is glad I'm now glad I did, so I now have the, the original in my collection. And again, apparently, Gerald wanted this, as apparently he's slightly annoyed that I got there before him. So, sorry, mate. But I'm done with now on record. If I ever sell this, 
probably won't be able to do it, you will have first dibs on it. So, yeah. So, yeah, guys, there are all my pickups. I'm going to afford this now, I'll show you the Dazzler before it gets out grading. Um, so, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and love to hear your thoughts. And, yeah, ciao for now, guys. See you soon.